Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be, to be going over all of the Anji gameplay we have so far. And we're going to actually start off with his starter guide, just so that when we go over the trailers and stuff, we actually recognize uh, all of the moves that he's doing, and we have a little bit of better understanding of the character before going into all of the gameplay. Doesn't he just look awesome though? He, oh, all of the designs in Strive are amazing, but damn, he looks amazing. NG can approach the opponent using moves that parry their attacks. Take advantage of his unique offense and control the pace of the match. So even just those little clips they give us at the start, just of their like gameplay, uh, it's pretty cool to see how they like expect the character to be played. So you get to see like a low kick into a sweep, into the butterfly, or some Oki, and Eno tries to fault this defense to get you know out of the. Offense, but Anji keeps going. Uses Fujin, uses the overhead, which I believe is unsafe, but you know, he uses it as a mix up. Then he tries to go for the stuff again and then goes into Fujin. So it seems like a lot of his gameplay is around like sweeping and Fujin and the butterfly with for the Oki and stuff. But we see he has some pretty interesting things as we go on. A slow moving butterfly projectile that travels forward. Now this is really cool, and you can tell that they slowed it down compared to the trailers because people were complaining about it a lot, but it still seems like a really, really powerful tool. Especially as more of a setup than a projectile because it's so slow. But yeah, I, sorry to pause a few times, but I feel like this is one of the most important things to him. And they show it only goes like three quarters of the screen, it doesn't actually go the whole way. It but it could be used as a projectile if you like make the read that they're not going to do anything for a little while because you will definitely get countered if you try to throw that out at random times. So definitely more of a setup tool, but it's really, really cool. And the double hit just makes it crazy. Like to throw that down. loose forward while avoiding the opponent's attacks. The distance Anji travels increases the longer you hold the button down. This move is kind of like weird and I, I don't fully understand it yet and some of his other moves actually have similar stuff. But basically he just like has armor while he goes through it or guard point as it's called. And so he can just go through a projectiles and then he goes into that like extra up twirl animation and then he recovers and then just punishes them depending on like how how much recovery their attack has. So like Eno's her heavy slash has a bit of recovery. So he can just punish it because that swirl has less recovery than she does. It's pretty crazy. An attack where Anji strikes now here's a really important move for him. Followed up with various follow-up moves on hit or block. By holding the button, Anji will move forward before attacking. So that's pretty interesting, and that's something we see in some of his other moves. But he actually gets to do that Sugetsu no Hakubi or whatever that other like twirling one that that we just saw first. Um, but he has it attached to a Fujin as well. So if he holds down the input for Fujin, he can just go straight into that move and then go through things, so if they happen to throw a projectile, then he just gets to go into that guard point state and maybe punish them or something. But if he just releases it, then he gets to do Fujin. So that's pretty crazy. Damn, that did a lot of damage and it was really simple. Did you see that? A few slashes into Fujin. Damn. That's drive damage for you. A follow up to Fujin where Anji jumps up and launches a projectile <clears throat> towards the ground. So basically this is the non-combo but plus on block. Opportunity to approach the opponent once out. Yeah, wow, it's really plus. Unless you know it was just low, but he was able to go for his heavy slash there. Damn the damage. <laughs> but yeah, because that didn't really have a point before, because last time they showed us it it was punishable. But now it seems like yeah, he jumps in the air, then he throws that down and he's plus on block. But it doesn't combo, but yeah, he's at advantage. So he can go for his heavy slash. If that really is that advantage, that's pretty crazy. I think Ino may have just been a bit slow there. A follow up to Fujin where Anji leaps forward. Use this move to take the opponent by surprise when they are concentrated on block. Yeah, so it seems like you either use it like in pressure to like fake them out and go for a grab or something. But we've also seen before it can be used like in combos to um. Similar to, to like jump after the opponent after he gets a Fujin. Holding the button down until the end of the move. Yeah, see, he does the leap there. Um, after the held down Fujin. Oh yeah, that's something that we didn't see before, by the way. Oh, <laughs> uh, when he holds down Fujin, it like charges it up and it like launches the opponent into the air. So the longer he holds it down, the more damage and more combo potential it gets. 
Which is pretty crazy, because when he holds it down, he's in guard point as well, so... Kind of ridiculous, but I'm loving it. Yeah, so... He leaps forward, can either be for combos or pressure. <laughs> like almost everything he has. That's a really good command normal, that spinning one, that looks cool. A follow up to Fujin where Anji performs a low sweep with a small opening. So what we've seen, oh, small opening. So what we've seen in the past is that this is just like the comboing finisher. Like if you just want to use it at the end of combo and get some damage, you go for this one. And it's also safe. So it's just like the most, more safer option. But he just said that it actually has an, a small opening. So maybe they can go for a, a, like a down punch or a standing punch like in between it, which is kind of interesting. Maybe that would mean that he would go for different uh, follow ups if an opponent's wanting to do that, like maybe he does the jump, the jumping one to go over a down poke, like a down punch, that's that's interesting to think about. But we'll see soon, because he comes out, we get to play with him tomorrow. Yeah, so it's like the simple combo and safe version. Hey. So this is like the big damage combo one, and an overhead, which is a pretty good mix-up because the one that you will always be going for because it's safe and just, you know, combos and is like the normal one to do, the Nagiha. Then you can go for the overhead one, the Rin, and then get the big damage and the big combos. The opponent will not be able to block the move while crouching. You can keep your opponent guessing by following up the Fujin with either Nagiha or Rin. Damn, he didn't even finish that combo. He could have extended it even more and do more attacks, but he didn't. And gone for the wall break, but it was already a lot of damage. Like, damn. These characters are crazy and I love it. By holding the button, Anji will move forward before attacking. Similar to Suigetsu no Hakobi, Anji can dodge incoming attacks when he is moving forward. So it's not actually a DP. They He didn't say that it, like, has invulnerability or anything. It's just, like, you know... A cool move that could be used as an anti-aero combo finisher but just like fujin and that other thing we saw um it actually has this like guard point if you hold it down and if you hold it down it gets better hit uh, hit properties as well and yeah boosts its attack properties so basically does more damage and has it slightly different hit so maybe he can get combos from it more but it's pr pretty crazy that when he's holding it down he has guard points so like yeah he may as well it's the He's got such crazy awesome moves, I'm His loving it. Hit so here he uses it to end a combo. And look, you saw there, just a tiny bit, that when he uses it in a combo, he's actually in an air state where he can do aerial attacks. So he hit Eno onto the wall after doing it with his air kick or something. Damn! So that means he could also do that like in pressure, so after he does call, and then he can just like fall down onto you with like a jump kick or something. There may be a gap, but still, that's pretty crazy. Like he, like if you wanted to avoid the gap, you could like RC it. But like, damn, there's so much cool stuff here. A move where Andy releases a so this is the super we've seen, where basically he just, yeah, when this move just makes a big area of effect of big, big fan stuff. But it looks like it has a really like big and quick hitbox, which is pretty handy for him. And he said that it causes a wall break as well. Now this is the one we haven't seen, and oh my god, I'm just gonna shut up and let you see it, because this I was shook when I watched this. It's crazy. So satisfying. It will also cause an area shift on hit in the corner. Anji performs a counter attack that reacts to an attack from the opponent. The move is invincible during the startup, and its property changes if the opponent is close to Anji when the counter attack lands. Isn't that damage. just awesome? Like, oh, it's so satisfying how he goes into that parry state. And like, just, like, oh. He's just holding it there, and then as soon as Eno hits him, he goes like, and starts it, oh. Ready, ready? Oh, man, that gives me jitters every time. That is so cool. So it's basically like a reversal super, but instead of having, in, like, invincibility and just attacking like a lot of other people's, um, like Eno's, for example, um, Anji's is a parry, uh, so it's kind of like a slightly worse version of a reversal super, except it does way more damage. It does half health on Eno. Like, damn. Yeah, so there we see him punish a heavy slash. Damn. 
standing far slash okay, combo no Hakobi, there we go mixing them up with the oh and he attack. used the butterfly after just that regular attack ending with a coat like the From uppercut Uyo. thing it's like damn anji seems so fun he's definitely ah i'm so excited to play him at least i don't have to wait too long but damn he looks so fun like all the fujin mix-ups as well as the ko and all the weird guard point stuff like damn if he parries a heavy attack Anji can punish the opponent with an attack of his own. There's just so much going on with this gameplay. The opponent locked down with his poke, standing far slash, and a combo into Ko, and then uses the butterfly to go for like a grab or a sweep. Oh, Anji, you're looking too good. You're looking too good, man. After scoring a knockdown, and that oh, both of his supers are so satisfying as well. That this character is just awesome, guy. <laughs> He's too cool. Okay, so now let's go back and watch some of his trailers and stuff, so we get to see all of the gameplay that we have to look forward to before he fully comes out and we get our hands on him. So, let's get into it. This is the first trailer that they released. Looking awesome. Too good. Okay. So, like... Wait, what was that? Like a counter... Down slash or down... 2s? Counter hit 2s, maybe? I don't know why it launched him in the air. Or maybe that's his too heavy slash? Or I just don't understand why it launched him in the air when he whacked downwards. But gets a, a double punch combo juggle. Ooh! Damn! So you see he did the leap after the um, Fujin there to get the combo. After the counter hit, he did the jump and then damn, did a slash into down slash. Or down heavy slash. That's his um, 6P, his anti-air, which looks really good. It looks like it hits pretty high. And he like turns around and like bends over, so... Damn. Into Ko. So that's what we were talking about before. You can just combo off of Ko, the um, uppercut thing. So whether it's on block or on hit. So he just does like kicks after it. That Oh my god, that's so cool. And that's his heavy dust with the umbrella, which looks amazing. Everything about this character looks so amazing. God damn it. Oh, nice aerial combo. One of his poses and his victory pose. There, so there's his, um, I forget what they call it. The spinny, uh, something. <laughs> and he just uses it to go straight through what? Damn. And then go for the Oki. And you can tell that they've slowed it down since this trailer because that butterfly came out real quick. Like he had like no recovery, he just did it instantly. So they've definitely slowed it down, but still looks awesome. And now people won't complain as much, which is good. <laughs> Oh, too good, too good. So these are his poses, you know, his taunts and stuff in between the rounds. Sorry the quality's kind of bad, but like, they're from Twitter. What can you expect? <laughs> oh, time up lose. Look at that disappointment. Oh yes, the umbrella. Jump dust. <laughs> Yeah, um, his second super in particular, I just... Oh, wait, oh, they don't have it in this, damn it. <laughs> but anyways, here's the second trailer we got to see when it was like the combined trailer with Anji and Eno. And he looks real good, just like he did before. Damn, the Goryuki looks so cool as well. They all do. How How is the design team just like nailed everything in this game? It's wild. Okay, oh, combo off of Cole by using the RC and get some jump jump combos. There's his 6P again. Damn! Th that was all from his counter hit 6P. So wait, let's watch that again. So, 6P into Fujin, into the jump, into slash, heavy slash, Fujin again. Low, low sweep or something, into slash. Oh! Too good! All this Fujin stuff, and the butterflies, and the guard points. Okay, here we go. More, more of that, more of the mix. Okie mix. Yeah, boy. Bye, May. And they said that that couldn't wall break too, if so if it was right beside the wall, she's gone. She's flying straight out. Damn. Anji. Anji, Anji, Anji. Okay, how do I get past this? 
So all we have after this was just the long breakdown that we got given um, from their live stream. So we'll just Anji, watch through this and see what uh, they have to say. If you are an old time Guilty Gear fan, this character is nothing new to you, but if you are Skin. skins and mix up tools, uh, but he is a little bit slow. Um, so a, he will take that's fair, because he has really large hitboxes and good, good pressure normals, and stuff. And a lot of his special moves so it wouldn't make sense if he was too fast. To but damn, he looks so good. I don't care if he's quick. So he's badass. He's epic two looking. special moves that Anji has are very core to his gameplay. The first being Shitsu, which is core circle forward and punch. Okay, so or, the butterfly is called Shitsu. So Anji will send out this yeah, it's slowed down here. It's not the crazy fast like it was in the trailer. So it's definitely so not like a zoning move or easy Oki so move. Slow. He definitely has uh, to have a chance to set it up. Have advantage over the opponent. So if yeah. you do something like land a throw, you can put a butterfly yeah. on the opponent. So like after a throw or a sweep a or even a ko apparently, like that uppercut down back slash. And that gives or maybe like if you're really like predicting the opponent isn't going to do anything, so you can throw it out just in the neutral, but probably simple, wouldn't recommend it. You to understand set play options where you can run forward and do overheads or lows or throws. Um, and your opponent has to respect. Uh, the other special move Anji has that is core to his gameplay is Fujin, which is a forward advancing special move done by doing core circle forward and heavy slash. Mm -hmm. So this special move is super fast, it has decent range, uh, but it is actually unsafe on block. Meaning that Anji's gonna have to cancel. Yeah, so that's why it's all about the mix-ups of the follow-ups with Fujin. It's not something you just do on your on its own. So it's either you get combos and mix, or like being advantage on block, or just do the leap to like mix it up. Like damn, so many options, so fun. Which sends Anji up into the air, throwing down some projectiles. Yeah. So this is a good tool to keep yourself safe while still keeping pressure on the opponent. It's going to avoid any of the opponent's low attacks, and when you land, yeah. follow up with more pressure. So maybe if they try to interrupt your slower things, you can do that, and you'll go over like any of their crouching attacks they do to interrupt you. And, then go in for more and it's advantage on block, which is crazy. Once your opponent starts respecting your but it doesn't combo, and doesn't do big damage at all. And can probably be interrupted with like anti-air moves. So while this doesn't actually do yeah, so this is the kick option, where he just does a little hop, does some pressure, and can be used in his combos. We'll just skip through this a bit uh, since we've already it seen it. Has so much startup on it though, the opponent can mash and hit you out of this move. So you really want to go for it sparingly once they start respecting your other options, and you can sneak this in with another. Yeah, so it's not real at all. Like it's not like it's plus on block or anything. It's just you know for a little bit of a gimmick. Is a quick low that combos after Fuji. So this is your basically so that's your like go to combo ender with Anji. If you can combo yeah. the Fujin into the that's what you go for default. If you just want to cash out on damage or keep safe, you want to be doing or that one like as your base game, base finisher, and then you use up all the other ones to mix up around it. So if you think they're just going to keep blocking the base one, then you can go for the overhead. Or if you just want, think they're just going to keep blocking, you can go for the advantage, or like go for the fake out into a grab. Too good, too good. So many options. So his Rin is the overhead. So like his kick follow up, uh, it has some startup to it, and you can be mashed out of it after using it. Yeah, so it's obviously. Tool you want to yeah. use once the opponent is respecting you, um, and it leads to a combo on hit and a massive combo on counter hit. So Ooh, okay. this move is unsafe on block. I don't think we've seen it on counter hit yet, but like but we've already seen it gets big damage it, just on normal hit because it does a big chunk of damage on its own, and you get a combo from it. So. I don't even want to imagine how wild the damage is on counter hit. <laughs> so a lot of Anji's pressure in, uh, is sort of similar to previous games, where you have you can stagger into your different follow ups and keep the opponent guessing as to what you're going to be doing. Damn! Look at all that mix, mix and then into the Oki as well, then more Fujin stuff. Oh, it blends so well. And then combos in the corner. Oh, he nearly got it. <laughs> very easy to understand pressure with very strong options. If you manage to make and he didn't even mention that you can hold down Fujin and Ko and stuff. Final two special moves, which you also saw in to, for the twirls. Ko, which is sort of an anti-air leap. So you'll notice it doesn't hit the opponent on the ground. So it's a move mm. that. So only in aerial combos or as an anti-air. As a combo ender. So oh, it yeah. causes a hard knockdown. Uh, Ooh! Oh, so that's why they were using the um, Shitsu, the butterfly, after it, because it's a hard knockdown. Damn. So okay. Cool. But it has to be like an aerial combo, so probably something that you've spent meter on or you've anti-aired. 
so you can't just do it all the time and then go in for a free shitsu a after any hit. Anti-air or a air combo ender from the ground to cause a hard knockdown and continue your offense. Uh, the final move he has is we get to know Hakuobi, which is done with core circle forward and kick. So while this is actually not an attack, it's sort of so a So we get to know Hakobi. The whole time that so yeah, is, this uh, is just the 12. We'll guard point the enemy's attacks. But I don't really see why you would do this when yeah, your Fujin you does that as either way. Or I guess because if you do Fujin, then it's unsafe. I don't know. Attack, so you can see the guard point. But yeah, he can use this guard point stuff if he holds uh, down Fujin or Ko, which seems pretty... I don't know. I'm so excited to see how it actually works because it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> And we love that. Oh, it's been a minute since I've gone through these settings. Okay, let's skip through him getting through the settings. So she's gonna okay, so she's doing heavy slash. Hit her with a normal. So using this move lets you guard point through the opponent's attacks. Mm -hmm. So, so he has that little flash. To reversal or just mash out of your pressure, or even just in neutral if you expect they're going to hit a long recovery. And then I guess depending on how how much recovery that move has, you can punish them, or just get pressure going on it. But it seems like a cool way of getting in since he doesn't have much zoning or anything. Hitting the guard point either. So it's not exactly the same as like Potemkin's guard point on Hammerfall. Once you... It's, it's sort of treated like a whiff if they hit you during this move, meaning they're stuck in that long recovery, and you can actually punish them with a throw for those long recovery moves. Uh... That actually is a property that's attached to two of his other special moves as well. Oh yeah, he does he mention down it. down the input for Fujin. The startup is slower, but Anji will do the same animation as... Oh, okay, uh, and he can't do it for too long either. It only does it for a little bit, whereas when he just does the... I forget what it's called. But just the twirl, it lasts for quite a while, but for Fujin it just lasts for a little bit. But when he holds it down, he gets to do the... So he gets to know how could be, that's what it's called. But when he holds down Fujin, he gets extra extra combo properties as well, which we got shown before. As well as Ko. Yeah. Mm, so it adds guard point, adds startup, and adds combo potential. Interesting stuff. For his super, he has Issei Ogi Sai. Mm -hmm. It's a multi-hitting projectile super that is used to end combos. It does a lot of damage, big combos, so it's going to tackle a lot of extra damage. Uh, just like Eno, uh, Anji has one more super that unfortunately is not ready yet. Uh, so they can't show it. <laughs> we'll show it to you today. But we'll be showing off more games roster. What else do we uh, see? I'm really excited for you guys to see what these characters can do in town. I'm excited uh, too, man. And a lot of their toolkit will look familiar. Oh, yeah. Look at all this Oki. Where's the Fujin? With that, I'm going to sign off. Uh, thank okay. you so much for joining us today, and we'll catch you hopefully in the Well, I'll end my video as well, guys. Thanks so much for watching. It's only a day until we actually get to see until we actually get to see the gameplay, so not not much longer of a wait anymore. But anyways, thanks for watching all the way through this. I hope you're as hyped for Angie and just all of Guilty Gear Strive as I am. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.